Jackson Trumbull, the sophomore from Springfield, Nebraska, made it all the way from the Midwest to Raleigh. The two-time defending champion is Nino Bonacorsi. He won the ACC title last year over Trumbull, 5-2 after Trumbull had beat him twice in the previous two meetings. These two very familiar with one another, so let's go deep inside each corner, starting with Bonacorsi and Pitt. Bonacorsi has to create angles. He can't shoot straight on Isaac Trumbull. Isaac Trumbull has very heavy hips. When someone shoots in, he wants to square up and get heavy hips. What Nino Bonacorsi has to do is create angles. The lateral motion of Isaac Trumbull isn't his strong suit, so fast. therefore Nino Bonacorsi has to try to create angles as opposed to shooting straight on. Bonacorsi, the four-time NCAA qualifier. He was a national runner-up a couple of years ago. Made the All-American run as the number six seed. Clean hands, hands up. The other two times, he's come up just one win shy of All-American status. Lost last year in the round of 12 to Missouri's Rocky Elam. His third year at 197 after starting his career at 84. Of course, it, there, there's the nerves in being in the finals of any tournament, certainly with a conference tournament. But you wonder, in Nino's mind, he says, look, I win. I'm the number one seed for the good shot there. Good shot at what has to happen. Nino is putting weight on the shoulder of Trumbull. Trumbull's going to try and stand up with it. But Nino's doing a good job of doing what's called a shin wizard. He's grabbing his own shin and putting pressure on the shoulder of Trumbull. Little things are going, little adjustments that are happening. They see the referee's going to call stalemate because nothing can, can be improved upon. Pitt entered today with an ACC high. Four number one seeds. One of them, obviously, Bonacorsi. We'll see Matthews a little bit later along with Philippi. Heller, Holden Heller, was their other one seed. Very dangerous tournament team with the firepower they have, in particular in those four weights. Let's not forget the red shirt at one of the top heavyweights in the country as well and Dayton Pitzer just a couple of weeks ago. Keith Gavin has something cooking pretty special at Pitt. A couple of strong recruiting classes. And to factor in these veterans with guys like Bonacorsi and Philippi and Matthews, they have laid the foundation and now the recruiting doors are starting to open up a little bit wider for the Panthers. That's what happens when you have success. What I'm seeing with Nino Bonacorsi, he's coming over the top of the head with his right hand and dropping down to a shot on the left leg of Isaac Trumbull. So he has an overhand, and he's shifted just a little bit to get to the shot on the left leg of Isaac Trumbull. Overhand, and let's see if he just moves it. There it is. You see, he's just moving it just a little bit to the side. Two on one here late by Trumbull. Action Not elected center, to go anywhere with it. Short time, seven seconds, scoreless first period for the title the at fingers. 197. Short time. Short time. Keith Gavin, year number six, the 2008 Pitt graduate. He won a national title Green. while wrestling for the Panthers at 174. Two-time All-American and Recently, he too given a, an extension hey, for the job that he has done that will keep him in Red, cover legally and hold. for the 2027 season. Is there a more calm coach in all of college wrestling than Keith Gavin? Uh, certainly not in the ACC. <laughs> Just even keel, doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. And every hit wrestler we talked to this year talked about how they appreciated that. So little things that are happening, little chess matches, what you're seeing at home is saying that nothing's really happening. But what Nino is trying to do is create space. And you see immediately, this is, this is almost deja vu. <laughs> From the first match, locking hands, technical violation. Stop, we've got technical violation. Locking hands, technical Locked violation. Hands. The reason why is because even though you say they want their feet, no. The referee did not award 
a loss of control. So because Isaac Trumbull locked around the body Two and zero. they were still on the mat, that was a lock in hands. And you can see there's not a peep coming out of NC State. Good job by the second official to let it know, and good job by the head official to trust the judgment of the second official working as a team. Big difference now, it's two. That could be a large in a match that we thought would be one or two points separating these two elite wrestlers. On a course, he up 2-0. Halfway through period two, hitting the halfway point. So now we know that, that Isaac Trumbull has to attack a little more. Because even if there's nothing happens in the second period, more than likely guys. Isaac Trumbull is going to go bottom and, and try to get an escape. But at some point, Isaac Trumbull is going to have to expose himself, meaning create some type of offense. Is that the next step for Trumbull? He's still very young as sophomore. We know the MO on him, tough to score hey guys, on, great hits. Great. Is the offense the next step for him to really take it to the next level? Of course. But the great thing about wrestling is that you can create your own style. You don't have to do it like someone else did it. You can say, based upon my skill set, based upon my build, I can create fingers, this guys. type of offense. And that's something that you work on with your team, work on with your coaches, and work on as yourself. And what Trumbull's done a really good job of, he's one of the team leaders in bonus point victory. So his style is still scoring points. 2-0 Bonacorsi into the third we go. Trumbull looks over at the corner without hesitation. He will go underneath. Good look at Nino Bonacorsi. Grew up in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Heralded okay, guys, recruit no just 12 far. miles south of the Pitt campus. Finished high school with 147 wins. There was never a doubt where he was going to wrestle collegiately, and that was at Pitt. Trumbull is away, and it's two to one. Riding time, not a factor. And where does, does Trumbull have to score? He has to score from some type of, kind of like an excursion. Something has to happen for him to grab and get his hips squared up on top of Bonacorsi. Because shooting from a distance is not the strength of Isaac Trumbull. However, Nino Bonacorsi has to continue to circle. His back is towards the outside. And with someone like Trumbull, who's going to just stay and push, it's not going to look good Actual to the officials. Out of the fingers. See, Bonacorsi is standing on the outside. He's got to try to circle towards where the ACC is, the white part of the mat, and stay there. You don't want to play the edge. When you play the edge, you're guys. already saying that, hey, I'm not just going to defend, but I have the out of bounds to help me as well. This is a perfect example of where we've seen Bonacorsi adapt as a wrestler, even though he's had all the success as you see him try to spin his way around. In the past, he was just shot after shot. Not the case as he gets older, more calculated with his shots Actually, compared to the first couple of years and way more efficient. Knowing his opponent, this is a guy you don't want to take a hot, high shot volume on with Trumbull. Excellent, yes. So far, Bonacorsi holding serve. Short time to go, 10 seconds. Does Trumbull have some late magic? Bonacorsi staying in a pretty safe position near the edge. And for Nino Bonacorsi, he has won an ACC title, his third consecutive championship. You may not like it, but you win tight matches. You win tight matches with stingy defense. Good job by Nino Bonacorsi. I haven't talked to any ACC coach that isn't a fan of Nino Bonacorsi. They love the way he wrestles and love the fact that he's a third straight champ. Three consecutive crowns for Bonacorsi. He's won all three in a little bit of a different style. Tonight it was about his defense. And Pitt crowns their first champion. Heavyweight coming up next, Jonah Niesenbaum representing Duke, trepping for NC State.